Hoy estaremos utilizando una técnica conocida como la asociación por videos y fotos, la cual le permitirá a tu cerebro asimilar mejor las palabras en inglés y poder recordarlas con mayor facilidad. Esta técnica le permitirá a tu cerebro asociar las imágenes con las palabras sin ni siquiera darte cuenta y sin el mínimo esfuerzo. Te recomiendo estudiar esta lección todos los días por los siguientes tres días para que puedas obtener mejores resultados. Comencemos con la lección del día de hoy. Let's begin. They are having dinner on a fancy restaurant. They are having dinner on a fancy restaurant. They are having dinner on a fancy restaurant. Ellos están cenando en un restaurante lujoso. They are having dinner on a fancy restaurant. Lola and her family are having a picnic in the park. Lola and her family are having a picnic in the park. Lola and her family are having a picnic in the park. Lola y su familia están teniendo un picnic en el parque. Lola and her family are having a picnic in the park. Victor and Anna always make an effort to recycle. Victor and Anna always make an effort to recycle. Victor and Anna always make an effort to recycle. Victor y Anna siempre hacen el esfuerzo de reciclar. Victor and Anna always make an effort to recycle. Joseph is taking out the trash. Joseph is taking out the trash. Joseph is taking out the trash. Joseph está sacando la basura. Joseph is taking out the trash. Bianca is using the ATM. Bianca is using the ATM. Bianca is using the ATM. Bianca está utilizando el cajero automático. Bianca is using the ATM. Now she's counting money. Now she is counting money. Now she is counting money. Ahora ella está contando el dinero. Now she's counting money. La siguiente frase es Selena is running late for her music class. Selena is running late for her music class. Selena is running late for her music class. Selena está llegando tarde a su clase de música. Selena is running late for her music class. Her teacher is yelling at her. Her teacher is yelling at her. Her teacher is yelling at her. Su maestra le está gritando. Her teacher is yelling at her. Jennifer is preparing the dough to make a pizza. Jennifer is preparing the dough to make a pizza. Jennifer is preparing the dough to make a pizza. Jennifer está preparando la masa para hacer una pizza. Jennifer is preparing the dough to make a pizza. La palabra dough significa masa y simplemente se pronuncia dough, dough. 
tanto la G como la H que se encuentran al final no se pronuncian. Simplemente tienes que decir do, do, do. Excelente. Continuemos con la siguiente frase. Marta is applying cream to her arm. Marta is applying cream to her arm. Marta is applying cream to her arm. Marta se está aplicando crema en su brazo. Marta is applying cream to her arm. Joe is cleaning the window. Joe is cleaning the window. Joe is cleaning the window. Joe está limpiando la ventana. Joe is cleaning the window. He loves to do the chores. He loves to do the chores. He loves to do the chores. Él ama hacer los quehaceres de la casa. He loves to do the chores. Mónica is dozing out in class. Mónica is dozing out in class. Mónica is dozing out in class. El verbo dozing significa quedarse dormido. Mónica is dozing out in class. Mónica se está quedando dormida en la clase. She didn't get enough sleep last night. She didn't get enough sleep last night. She didn't get enough sleep last night. Ella no durmió lo suficiente anoche. She didn't get enough sleep last night. La siguiente frase es Marlon is broke. Marlon is broke. Marlon is broke. Marlon está en la quiebra. Marlon is broke. He can't buy anything right now. He can't buy anything right now. He can't buy anything right now. Él no puede comprar nada ahora mismo. He can buy anything right now. Angel's parents are buying candy to celebrate Halloween. Angel's parents are buying candy to celebrate Halloween. Angel's parents are buying candy to celebrate Halloween. Los padres de Ángel están comprando dulces para celebrar Halloween. Angel's parents are buying candy to celebrate Halloween. My mom is at the spa. My mom is at the spa. My mom is at the spa. Mi mamá está en el spa. She is getting a massage. She is getting a massage. She is getting a massage. Ella está recibiendo un masaje. She is getting a massage. He is ironing his clothes. He is ironing his clothes. He is ironing his clothes. Él está planchando su ropa. He is ironing his clothes. Linda is opening her presents. Linda is opening her presents. Linda is opening her presents. 
Linda está abriendo sus regalos. Linda is opening her presents. Her friends are celebrating her birthday with her. Her friends are celebrating her birthday with her. Her friends are celebrating her birthday with her. Sus amigos están celebrando su cumpleaños con ella. Her friends are celebrating her birthday with her. Marcus and his girlfriend are playing pool at the bar. Marcos and his girlfriend are playing pool at the bar. Marcos and his girlfriend are playing pool at the bar. Marcos y su novia están jugando billar en el bar. Marcos and his girlfriend are playing pool at the bar. Vicky and her friends are playing with fireworks. Vicky and her friends are playing with fireworks. Vicky and her friends are playing with fireworks. Vicky y sus amigos están jugando con fuegos artificiales. Vicky and her friends are playing with fireworks. Leonardo is shaving his beard. Leonardo is shaving his beard. Leonardo is shaving his beard. Leonardo está afeitando su barba. Leonardo is shaving his beard. His friends are worried because he is drunk and he wants to drive. His friends are worried because he is drunk and wants to drive. His friends are worried because he is drunk and wants to drive. Sus amigos están preocupados porque él está borracho y quiere manejar. His friends are worried because he is drunk and wants to drive. Leonardo is washing his hands with soap. Leonardo is washing his hands with soap. Leonardo is washing his hands with soap. Leonardo está lavando sus manos con jabón. Leonardo is washing his hands with soap. Sean todos bienvenidos una vez más a JK English, tu curso de inglés online. Yo soy la profesora Erika y en el día de hoy me encuentro en compañía del profesor Eduardo. El día de hoy estaremos viendo varias conversaciones en inglés que podrás utilizar en el día a día. Escucharás la pronunciación totalmente en inglés. También te diremos lo que estamos diciendo en español para que así puedas dominar en su totalidad las conversaciones. No olvides suscribirte a nuestro canal y activar la campanita de notificaciones para que no te pierdas ninguna de las siguientes lecciones que estaremos preparando para ti. Let's begin. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? ¿Qué tan a menudo sales a comer? ¿Con quién vas? How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. Usualmente salgo a comer los fines de semana cuando salgo con mis amigos. I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurant do you usually visit? ¿Qué restaurante sueles visitar? What restaurant do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli and convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, B Smart. Bueno, no hay muchos restaurantes en mi vecindario, así que mi mejor opción es el deli en las tiendas por departamento como Circle K, Mini Stop, and B Smart. 
Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli and convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, B Smart. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? ¿Qué tipo de comida disfrutas comer, occidental o asiática? What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. Me interesa la comida asiática. La comida occidental no es lo mío. I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? ¿Cuánto sueles gastar cuando sales a comer? How much do you usually pay when you eat out? How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive. Just around $5 for each meal. No es tan caro. Solo alrededor de cinco dólares por comida. It's not very expensive. Just around five dollars for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? ¿Disfrutas de la comida picante? Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do. Especially on cold days. Sí, lo hago. Especialmente en los días fríos. Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Los meseros de allí son amigables contigo? Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Sí, lo son. La mayoría son de gran ayuda. Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? ¿Has probado alguna vez la comida italiana? Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once, when I was in my friend's wedding party. Sí, al menos una vez, cuando estaba en la fiesta de bodas de mi amigo. Yes, at least once, when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? ¿Te preocupan las calorías cuando sales a comer? Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Sí, lo estoy. Estoy en una dieta ahora mismo, así que esto realmente me importa. Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Los restaurantes de comida rápida como KFC o McDonald's son famosos en tu país? Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Sí, lo son. Los jóvenes de mi país son grandes fanáticos de la comida rápida. Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? ¿Tomas alcohol a menudo cuando sales a comer? Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. No, no muy a menudo. Solamente cuando tengo fiestas con mis amigos. No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. Ahora que ya conocemos el significado de cada frase en esta conversación, es hora de que la escuchemos sin ningún tipo de subtítulos o traducciones. Presta mucha atención. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? 
I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurant do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli in convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, B Smart. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive, just around five dollars for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. Pasemos a nuestra siguiente conversación. Presta mucha atención. How often do you read books? ¿Qué tan a menudo lees libros? How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. Leo libros casi todas las noches antes de irme a dormir. I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? ¿Cuál es tu tipo de libro favorito? What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. Me encanta leer sobre diferentes culturas. I love reading about different cultures. What can you learn from books? ¿Qué puedes aprender de los libros? What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Los libros pueden ampliar mi horizonte sobre miles de cosas en todo el mundo, y los libros también son mis mejores amigos. Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? ¿Dónde lees los libros? Where do you read books? I read books at home, sometimes in the library. Leo los libros en casa, algunas veces en la biblioteca. I read books at home, sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? ¿Cuál es el libro más interesante que has leído? I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. Creo que sería Nepal, un libro escrito sobre el país de Nepal, publicado en 1999. I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. How long does it take you to finish a book? ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma terminar un libro? How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300-page book. Bueno, eso depende de la extensión del libro, pero usualmente me toma una semana terminar un libro de 300 páginas. Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300-page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? ¿Usualmente llevas los libros contigo cuando viajas? Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Sí, lo hago. Cuando estoy en el aeropuerto o en la estación de autobuses, leo para matar el tiempo. Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Is there any bookstore or library in your area? ¿Hay alguna librería o biblioteca en tu área? Is there any bookstore or library in your area? 
Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. Desafortunadamente, no hay ninguna cerca de mi casa. La más cercana queda a tres kilómetros de distancia. Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. Escuchemos esta conversación una vez más. How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? I read books at home, sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300-page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Is there any bookstore or library in your area? Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. Hi, Mark. Hi. What are you planning to do today? I'm not sure yet. Would you like to have lunch with me? Yes. When? Is 11.30 okay? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? I said 11.30. Oh, I'm busy then. Can we meet a little later? Okay, how about 12.30? How about Bill's Seafood Restaurant? Oh, where is that? It's on 7th Street. Okay, I meet you there. Okay, ahora vamos a estar viendo esta conversación con sus subtítulos en español para saber qué se estaba diciendo. Estaremos diciéndolo un poco más lento para que pueda apreciar la pronunciación y sepa el significado de lo que se estaba diciendo. Hi, Mark. Hola, Mark. Hi. Hola. What are you planning to do today? ¿Qué estás planeando hacer hoy? I'm not sure yet. No estoy seguro aún. Would you like to have lunch with me? ¿Te gustaría almorzar conmigo? Yes. When? Sí. ¿Cuándo? Is 11.30 ok? A las once y media está bien. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? Lo siento, no pude oírte. ¿Puedes decirme eso otra vez, por favor? I said 11.30. Dije once y media. Oh, I'm busy then. Can we meet a little later? Oh, estoy ocupado a esa hora. ¿Nos podemos ver un poco más tarde? Ok, how about 12.30? Está bien. ¿Qué tal a las doce y media? Ok, where? Está bien. ¿Dónde? How about Bill's Seafood Restaurant? ¿Qué tal el restaurante de mariscos de Bill? Oh, where is that? Oh, ¿dónde está eso? It's on 7th Street. Está en la calle 7. Ok, I'll meet you there. Está bien, nos vemos allí. Ahora veamos otra conversación. Chris, where are you going? I'm going to the store. I need to buy something. Really? I need to go to the store too. Will you like to come with me? Yeah, let's go together. Will you like to go now or later? Now. What? 
Now will be better. Okay, let's go. Should we walk? No, it's too far. Let's drive. Chris, where are you going? Chris, ¿hacia dónde vas? I'm going to the store. I need to buy something. Voy a la tienda. Necesito comprar algo. Really? I need to go to the store too. ¿En serio? También tengo que ir a la tienda. Would you like to come with me? ¿Te gustaría ir conmigo? ¿Te gustaría venir conmigo? Yeah, let's go together. Sí, vamos juntos. Would you like to go now or later? ¿Te gustaría ir ahora o luego? Now. Ahora. What? What? ¿Qué? Now would be better. Ahora sería mejor. Ok, let's go. Está bien. Should we walk? ¿Deberíamos caminar? Hi, Melissa. Are you going home this weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. Where do your parents live? My father lives in Washington, D.C. How about your mother? My mother died two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here, and my aunt and uncle live about 30 miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in Boston. Do you see them a lot? Not as much as I like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Ahora escuchemos nuevamente esta conversación con sus traducciones en español para que puedas comprender todo lo que acabamos de decir. Presta mucha atención. Hi, Melissa. Are you going home this weekend? Hola, Melissa. ¿Irás a casa este fin de semana? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. No, este fin de semana no. Tengo demasiado trabajo que hacer. What do your parents live? ¿Dónde viven tus padres? My father lives in Washington, D.C. Mi padre vive en Washington, D.C. How about your mother? ¿Qué tal tu mamá? My mother died two years ago. Mi madre murió hace dos años. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? Oh, lamento mucho escuchar eso. ¿Tu padre aún continúa trabajando? No, he's retired. No, está retirado. Do you have any family here? ¿Tienes alguna familia aquí? Yes, two of my cousins live here, and my aunt and uncle live about 30 miles from here. Sí, dos de mis primos viven aquí, y mi tío y mi tía viven a 30 millas de aquí. Do you have any brothers or sisters? ¿Tienes hermanos o hermanas? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in Boston. Sí, tengo dos hermanos que viven en Nueva York y una hermana que vive en Boston. Do you see them a lot? ¿Los ves a menudo? Not as much as I like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. No tanto como me gustaría. Usualmente, solamente en festividades como acción de... Hello, sir. 
Welcome to French Garden Restaurant. How many? One. Right this way. Please, have a seat. Your waitress will be with you in a moment. Hello, sir. Would you like to order now? Yes, please. What would you like to drink? What do you have? We have butter water, juice, and Coke. I'll have a bottle of water, please. What would you like to eat? I'll have a tuna fish sandwich and a bowl of vegetable soup. Hello, sir. Welcome to French Garden Restaurant. How many? Hola, señor. Bienvenido al restaurante El Jardín Francés. Mesa para cuantos? One. Para una sola persona. Fíjese que él solamente dice uno, pero podemos traducir esto dependiendo del contexto en el que nos encontramos. One, una sola mesa para una sola persona. Bien, prosigamos. Right this way. Please, have a seat. Your waitress will be with you in a moment. Por aquí, señor. Por favor, tome un asiento. Su mesera estará con usted en un momento. Hello, sir. Would you like to order now? Hola, señor. ¿Le gustaría ordenar ahora? Yes, please. Sí, por favor. What would you like to drink? ¿Qué le gustaría para tomar? What do you have? We have butter water, juice, and Coke. Tenemos agua embotellada, jugo y Coca-Cola. I'll have a bottle of water, please. Me gustaría una botella de agua, por favor. What would you like to eat? ¿Qué le gustaría para comer? I'll have a tuna fish sandwich and a bowl of vegetable soup. Me gustaría un sándwich de tuna y un plato de sopa de vegetales.